I want to talk about that a lot of people fear, um, who do fear a Labour government, many people will welcome a Labour government, but a lot of people fear that Labour they will, go, will very much move to the left on the culture wars. Now, uh, without, you know, the sort of Blair and Brown money to throw at, you know, as they spent huge amounts investing, and it was much needed money at the time in, in schools and hospitals, that there won't be that sort of money available. The Institute of Fiscal Studies basically said a plague on all your houses to all the political parties about their politically unfunded spending plans, saying taxes will go up inevitably whoever is in charge but so there's this thought that Labour will move into sort of culture war territory we've already seen some of this already haven't we with the announcement on moving ahead with the conversion therapy van also uh, making it easier for gender self ID and big question marks about whether or not gender ideology will or will not be taught in our schools in future after that Tory consultation um, do you support all of those measures the idea that it make it easier for men and women to legally change their gender without any medical intervention whatsoever do you think it's a good idea that children should be told that that yeah there are more than two genders even though that's factually incorrect uh, and do you think that we need to ban gay conversion therapy even though there's no evidence of it happening here and that it may well mean that a therapist telling a child that they're not trans would become a criminal offense well julia your producers have invited me on to your show to to provide a bit of balance so you won't be surprised that we're going to disagree on this mm subject um you know i believe that trans rights are human rights no one's and, disagreeing I, with that. and shoulder to shoulder with uh, our, our trans brothers and sisters um you know with with the interjection of uh, jk rowling she clearly doesn't support self-identification whereas i do and whilst biological sex is real you know, it is simply just not the end of the conversation. And uh, I am I'm someone who is proud to say that a trans woman is an adult human female. So we're clearly... But, but then, but then, I mean, you that. can say it, but it's not true. Well, it is. I mean, it's simply well, fa an adult human female is a woman and a trans woman, by definition, yeah. the word trans is that it's a man who's transitioned to live as if they were a woman. Most, most trans people don't believe that they are act like a trans woman doesn't believe that he is actually a woman because he's not he's born with a he's born with you know different genitals different hormones every part of his body is different well listen you know the equality act in 2010 you know offers that protection legally um, but no I'm, I'm fascinated do you yeah, actually well, believe so for instance if tom slater is sitting in the studio with me now sorry tom to use the example if tom slater under these plans basically said um under the, the, the plan that labor have um i well, i'm going to apply to to change my gender and that he said have no no treatment whatsoever no 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 hormone treatment no surgery no nothing but then calls himself you know um, samantha or well, i'm trying to think of a woman, woman's name um and then and then in two years time he will legally be, be a woman in terms of his passport, his birth certificate. Would you actually believe that he, at that point, or even though he looks exactly the same, that he was a woman? Yes. <laughs> Show me that's because just I insane. That because because I, believe insane. In self I, I believe in self-identification. He would be legally <laughs> recognised as a woman, but you believe he'd actually be... A woman. So, for instance, as a woman, should he at that point, even though fully intact, six foot what, five, six foot five bloke? Four, but yeah. Six foot four, okay, that he could, that he should be allowed to enter, for instance, women's toilets, women's changing rooms, if he got convicted of a crime, <laughs> that he should be, at, he's looking very worried now, that he should be allowed to go into a no, women's what do you know? prison. This is... I mean, it, it's, it, 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 it's just not. Uh, you know, uh, a, a good comparison to make. No, 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 it's not. No, that's right. exactly what the it's, law that um, Labour want to bring in would allow. Are you saying that no, he, not, in that the, scenario, the should be allowed to Labour, enter those places? The changes that Labour are proposing are, are, are very, very similar to what is currently... In and I disagree with the current law. Are you saying that you would believe that he was a woman and therefore he should be allowed to enter women's toilets, women's changing rooms and women's prisons? I believe in self-identification. So, as a woman, he should be there. So, yeah. it, let's not use Tom as example. <laughs> it's a bit cruel. A man cruel? who rapes a woman. To do that. A know, man who rapes a woman. He's convicted of rape. While behind bars, he says, actually, I believe I'm born in the wrong body and I'm a woman. No treatment, no hormone treatment, no surgery whatsoever. Fully intact male, six foot maybe. 
he tra he under the law he changes his legal identity to be a woman a trans woman at that point you believe he is actually a woman at that point should he be put in a prison cell with women in a women's prison Julie that has never happened it's literally happened in Julia, in the UK happened. it's happening happened. in American prisons right now no. it sorry no. mate so it it's literally, I believe there are, are two women you are, currently you are, you are, you are who are trans women behind bars. a scenario that does not exist. Have you heard of Isla Bryson? You are putting forward Have you heard of Isla Bryson? A man, a rapist, a double rapist, who then claimed he was a trans woman and the, the Scottish government were happy for him to be put into a women's prison until everyone went, I don't bloody well think so. It's not, it's not a hypothetical. But it it didn't is, happen. It, so it's he, a scenario that No, there was another happen. man who was already in exist. the women's prison system. There yeah. are already anyway. men in the women's yeah. prison. Women have... I'm genuinely... Martin, women have gone to court against them, the male prison fellow prisoners who have sexually assaulted them because Is they've it? identified. It's, if you can say it hasn't happened, it's... I mean, you, it's literally physically happened. You're saying it's a hypothetical. Even if you think that... If you believe that person is legally and biologically then an adult human female, a woman, you believe they should be in that prison. Or would you want to put a woman, in your eyes, in a male prison? Answer the question. Listen, I believe in uh, uh, self-identity. You told us what you believe. Yeah. Belief so solely so matters. You're not a Tuesday night book club. You're a Labour so Party executive, right? Well, you're a momentum executive. But the whole point is to have no, power. So and when you have power, what do you... You're a Labour council. You represent, you, you represent people. There's no point just having beliefs if you don't put them into action, right? In this scenario, put your beliefs in action. Where does that, where does that trans-identified woman rapist, which prison does he go in? Julia, this... Well, an answer. This is, this you know is, the Julia, answer. You have to give Julia, logically. Ju Julia, OK, this is an issue, um, which is a very complex issue. Oh, you know, I've, I've said... That biological sex is real, you know, but it Thanks is not that. the end of the it is not the end of the conversation. You do seem to have quite an unhealthy obsession do with I? people's I genitalia. Love I love this. And, yeah, women and do. It, you know, when women are walking down the road at night, we're never afraid of women behind us, but we're always afraid of a man is, behind us because we don't more, know who's is safe and who's unsafe. There's a serious issue, Julia, with violence against women of women and girls by men. And by men. By men. And you are trying By to men. make. You are trying to make. Yes, a we're talking about men. Issue I'm not worried about trans people. I'm worried about that men. Impacts an absolutely tiny it percentage of people. It doesn't. And I will always stand with the. Do trans you know what percentage people. of men they behind bars demonized. are claiming to be trans? They have been demonised beyond belief. No one's demonising trans people. Trans people are, are being exploited. People, being exploited by abusive males. You make a demonising trans people, Julia. I've never demonised trans this people. This is your bread and butter. I've never demonised trans people. You know, I, I do Ever. feel slightly uncomfortable talking about this though, because I am a cis man. You know, if you're going you're to ask, you're a man. Yeah, you're just if a you're man. Gonna ask, you're if you're going to ask people about this, you should get a trans person on. I've had plenty of trans guests on this subject many times. So you know, uh, uh, I'm not going to alter my stance. I know you know you, Barbie. No, no, you won't answer the question though. That's I've the answered, issue. I've answered, I, I, I've I understand it. your stance. I think your stance is properly. Properly illogical and lo I think it's genuinely terrifying and, and scary. I really do. Well, I'm here I'm, to offer the balance to your. You are. You are. Let's, yeah. Let's you are. Leave it at that. Yeah. If, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm. You're offering the balance to biological reality, but you will not. Are you saying categorically? You refuse to answer the question about where a supposedly trans woman, legally identified as a woman, but biological male, which prison he should go in if he's committed rape against a woman? Because I find that a really easy question to answer, but you apparently won't answer it because I've asked it at least three times. Well, it's Juliet. It, it's a scenario that it literally uh, has happened. That is, it, you know, it, it is not facing us in reality. Yeah, I know it is facing us in reality. It's not it, because it, it, it is not happened. It has happened. It has happened Julia, in recent years. The example that you gave. The example that you gave. There are didn't men. There are men currently in the UK prison system who are biologically male who are claiming to live as women who are in the women's prison system. Fact.
Just because you don't know it to be true doesn't mean it's not true. You should, if you have very strong beliefs on this, you should perhaps, again, inform yourself a bit better. Um, I find this absolutely extraordinary. I really do. Final question to you, which was going to be my final question to you either way, but there, what, what, kind of, what kind of Labour government do you think we're going to get? Because Keir Starmer got himself elected as Labour leader um, on a pretty left-wing package of promises. Lots of wits have been ditched come the manifesto. And the argument has been, look, you need to be kind of, you know, more Blair than Blair to get elected in this country, you know, be mainstream. But we don't really know what Keir Starmer really thinks about things. Is he completely hard left? Is he a champagne socialist? Is he very Blair? Where is he? Where do you think he is and what sort of government do you think he'll lead? Well, that is a good question. Thank um, you. I'm, I'm very happy to answer that. That's, oh, you'll answer that because, one. Because um, uh, you know this this is a serious issue that's facing us. Because in the in the next week or so, Keir Starmer is going to be prime minister of okay. the. Okay. So United which kind of government Kingdom. is it going to be? Well, it's a very good question because so when it when Keir Starmer stood to be elected Labour Party leader, he stood on ten. Uh, solemn pledges mm. on things like public ownership of our utilities, on things like defending migrant rights, uh, uh, and uh, you know uh, uh, things like bringing our NHS fully back into public ownership. But unfortunately, as far as I'm concerned, because I come from the old Labour sort of left tradition of the Labour Party, Keir Starmer has reneged on many of those promises and. You know, whilst there are some very good things in the Labour Party manifesto, it is also quite thin on the ground for many of the issues that we need to address uh, very, very urgently after 14 years of Tory rot. And, it, you know, it's absolutely vital that, um, that we, 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 uh, we hold Keir Starmer to account on the pledges that he's made.